Hi everyone. So I'm, I'm tuning into this energy and I was tuning into it Thursday night. It's like, I was really feeling it. It's like, I was just feeling this energy, like something was just making me angry and I could tell it was channeled. You know, as most of you know, I do primarily channel. So sometimes I get dreams that are for people on here, or sometimes I just feel the energy, whether it's through a uh, clairsentience or claircognizance. It's like, I can just feel the emotions or I just kind of know something's going on. It's like, there's just this feeling. And I was feeling that. So Thursday night, it's like, I just felt angry, but I could tell it was channeled. I could tell I was getting angry about something that I was like intuitively feeling. You know, it wasn't just random. It wasn't just me being in a bad mood. It was like, there was something in the air. Like there was something in the, some kind of energy in the atmosphere I was picking up that was kind of making me angry. And I keep, I kept channeling. I need to look more into it, but I kept feeling like someone's up to something. It was almost like a sneaky kind of energy I'm feeling. So let's see what this is. And if these readings are resonating for you, I really appreciate the support. Please like the video, uh, comment, share, subscribe. You know, if this is resonating for you, I suggest subscribing because I, I do these frequently. Uh, new love readings, old love readings, there's, there's a whole mix on here. So, and I, I really love hearing your stories too. So thank you guys for commenting. Thanks for the support. Okay, what's going on here? Ten of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Someone feels like you're letting go of them. You might not not be, but they feel like you are. They feel like you're seeing them as a burden. They feel like I usually get Queen of Pentacles in a different in a different aspect, but I'm actually feeling here like they feel like you're more focused on your stability or you're more focused on finances. You're more focused on male or female. You're just more focused on yourself, self-care, career, school, whatever it might be, hobbies. Two of Wands, thinking long term, it's like they want, they're the wounded warrior, but they want to give this one final battle because they want this Ten of Cups with you. But why? Okay, so what's the sneaky energy, though, that I'm feeling here? Seven of Cups. Nine of Swords. Six of Cups. Eight of Wands, the world, Page of Swords, tell me more about this right here, Six of Pentacles, the Empress, the Two of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. I almost feel a sense of anger from this person a little bit because it's like you're the Empress and they want to be able to breadcrumb you, but they can't because you're the Empress. They're having, it's like illusion, being in their head, sleepless nights, anxieties. They're really missing you. They're very nostalgic over you. But I feel it's like they want to win you back, but they don't want to win you back in a positive way. It's like because they could come forward with an offer of loyalty. They're, see, the, the thing with this person is they sabotage. So part of them does want to offer you this pinnacle and come forward in a stable, loyal way. You know, offering to change, offering commitment. They're afraid that you're going to reject them, though, if they do that. And so it's, it's, it's really, it's not a good energy because it's one of those people that has this kind of kill or be killed mindset, kill or be killed mentality. I'll hurt them before they can hurt me. I'll hurt other people before I let other people hurt me kind of mentality. 
So part of them does consider coming forward in a loyal, stable way, offering you commitment. But they're seeing you as the empress or an emperor. And so they feel like if they came forward in that way, if they just said, hey, I want to change, I want to be loyal, they're afraid that you would reject them. They, they, they're afraid that you would say, no, it's too late for that. You didn't do enough. And so instead, they're going back to old toxic patterns where they want to get your attention in a negative way. And it's sad because this might have actually gotten your attention. If they really came forward in a genuine way where they were just like, hey, I, I have a lot of work to do, I, but I do love you. I do want to be loyal. I do want to be stable. Be patient with me. I'm, I want to be in your life. Like if they were really just, you know, a work in progress, but at least honest about their feelings, honest about how they feel about you, really considering your feelings more, I feel like you would actually be pretty open to it. But, but again, they're getting in their head and they're assuming that it's not going to be enough of an offer for you. They're assuming that if they did that, you would just reject them. And they are feeling nostalgic. They are feeling very upset over you. And so I feel like they're going to get, try to get your attention in a toxic way. It's like they want to breadcrumb you and they're mad they can't breadcrumb you because you're an empress. You're looking at this, look, you're on your, your, your throne and you're looking at this. You're like, no, I'm not going to be breadcrumbed. I'm not going to be someone's second choice. I know if there was other girls, I know about it. If there was other men, I know about it. I'm not going to be, you're not going to juggle me with someone else. I'm not doing it. I am the empress. It's me or it's nobody. You, you can't have, you can't have a side piece. You can't be on the fence about someone like an empress, you know? They're wanting to come forward with a message. They've been spying on your social media, possibly, or been watching you, and they want to come forward. Tell me about this message they want to send or what they want to do exactly. King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Justice. The Four of Swords, the Hierophant. This actually looks pretty good, but let me dig deep just to make sure, though, because there's something else here that I'm feeling. Because this actually does look good. It's like they want to present themselves as a King of Pentacles or a Queen of Pentacles. They want to present themselves as someone that's loyal, that's stable, that's grounded. They want justice in this connection. They've meditated on it. They've thought about it. They've gone inward. They do want commitment. Tell me more about how they're coming forward, though. Tower. Two of Swords. Okay. So I feel like this is the underlying energy where they're wanting to give you a stable offer. They're wanting justice. They're wanting commitment. They're wanting a connection here with you. Something's still off here though. They don't want me, they don't, like when I get readings like this where I have to really dig, it's like, I know this person is trying to block it. They're trying to do something sneaky and they don't want, they don't want me to know. They don't want you to know. They don't want, they don't want us finding out, but we're going to find out. We're going to look deep into it. That's the benefit of being psychic is, is I, I can feel when something's off. You're, no one's going to, no one's going to roll one over. No one's going to get one over on me. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to find out what this is. You can't hide shit from a psychic. But the underlying energy, like at the core of it, is, is they are wanting this connection back. But again, they feel like if they came forward, it's like they feel like you would reject them, like the offer wouldn't be enough at this point. Um, you wouldn't, like they're afraid that you would say, no, I'm not waiting for you. Or no, I'm not going to be patient with you. If they said, hey, I need to get my life in order, but I, I do love you. They're afraid that you wouldn't be open to that. And I don't feel like you would be open to putting your life on hold, but I think you would be open to them in general if they were being honest and being authentic and really showing you how they feel. Hmm. Tell me more about this. Tell me about this message or what they're doing to get your attention. So it's like, yeah, this, this, this last spread was the heart of it. You know, deep down what they're, what they're wanting deep down is commitment. 
but on a conscious surface level, that might not be how they, they might not go about it right the right way. Even though, even though we both know that this is what they're wanting deep down, what they're feeling deep down, they might not, um, show any, this is like hidden. This is the, what the energy I'm getting from this last spread we did. It's like, it's hidden. It's behind the scenes. It's the underlying energy of, of how they feel of what they're wanting, but that doesn't mean that's how they're going to go about it. That doesn't mean that they're going to show this. The tower, two of swords, six of swords. Hmm. They're wanting to, hold on. I'm hearing they're wanting to take you somewhere else. <laughs> hold on, can, bear with me guys. I'm seeing how they, how these these men have their swords up. I feel like they want to block you. They want to create a tower moment in your life. They want to shake things up. They want to shake things up in your life. I feel like there's two men here or two women here. This person has some audacity though because it's almost like this energy of um, if I can't have you, no one can have you, but it's like they haven't, this King of Swords hasn't even tried to have you. They haven't even come forward with an offer. They were too much of a, of a little, of a pussy to, <laughs> sorry, but they were too much of a pussy to like come forward with this offer, with an offer that you probably would have taken, to be honest. They were too scared. They were too scared. They would rather hurt it. It's it's a fucked up energy because this King of Swords would rather break your heart than risk their own heart bring, being broken. They would rather you feel rejected and feel left out in the cold than them feeling rejected and left out in the cold. It's just, it's selfish. They would rather hurt you than give you the chance to hurt them. And it's very sad too because you probably would not have rejected them. You probably would have taken this offer. You probably would have said, okay, if you're being authentic, if you're being honest, if you're really being vulnerable, I'll work with you. We'll get through this together. I'll, I'll, I, I might not trust you as much as I did, but I'm going to give this a chance. I'm going to hear you out. Well, let's take some baby steps. We'll see what happens. Like you would have, you might have been hesitant, but you would have been open to this. You would have been open to this King of Swords. Because I feel like they know that there's someone else or they feel like you're going to eventually meet someone else. Um, it could just be inevitable. They're like, well, you know, they know that you're not waiting for them anymore. So they're like, well, at some point, whether it's next week or whether it's a year from now, you're going to meet somebody else. You're going to meet a king or queen of cups. And they just have so much audacity with this, this mentality of theirs, this, if I can't have them, no one can, because it's like king of swords, like you could have had them. You could have had them if you came forward in an authentic way. So it's just, it's just messed up that it's like, they don't want to make the risk. They don't want to take the risk for you. They see you as above them. They see you as an empress. They don't want to put themselves out there. This king of swords doesn't like being vulnerable. They don't like, they don't like showing their hand. They don't like showing their emotions. They like one upping everybody. They like being in control all the time. This person has a very like toxic mentality of like life is a game. Relationships are just a game. I have to be the winner. I have to win at all costs. I don't care who I hurt along the way. Just as long as, you know, it, it's all about their pride, their image, their ego. And it's like there's this inner child that's just wounded. There's this inner child that I feel in this in in this whole spread here that like really does want to come forward in an authentic way. And this King of Swords side of themselves comes through and blocks it though. You know what I mean? This King of Swords side of themselves comes through and blocks it and, and, and they sabotage themselves. They get in their head and they think, no, no, she'll reject, he or she will reject me if I come forward like that. They'll reject me. They won't want this. They won't accept this. It's like their inner child is at war with the, the King of Swords aspect of their personality. Um, they're doing this to themselves is what I'm saying. It's not, they don't need to worry about another man. They're the ones that are blocking. They're, they're blocking themselves. They're doing this. This is their own fault.
This is their own fault. Hmm. Yeah, because it's like they, they're worried about you dating somebody else. But they don't have any business trying to block you from this if they're not willing to come forward and give you everything this King of Cups would give you. If they, you know, they can't be blocking you from this if they're not willing to step forward and, and give you commitment and give you love and put themselves out there and risk rejection for you. You know, because you deserve someone that knows that you're worth the risk. You deserve someone that doesn't just always put themselves first. You know what I mean? And it's like they have the option of being that king of cups, but instead they choose to keep being the king of swords and blocking you from it, trying to block you from any man that might be the king of cups. Wow. The tower and the two of swords. They want to create a tower moment in your life. They want to keep you blocked. I'm hearing it. Usually this is moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. But when I saw it, I looked at the visual and I immediately got, they want to take you somewhere else. <laughs> it's like they want to take you away somewhere, but not really in a good way. It's like they just, it, it, it's such bullshit though, because it's like they want to block you from this king of cups. Um, especially we see like the swords here, them block, trying to block this. It's like they want to block you from this, but... They don't, they don't plan on doing anything with you. You know what I mean? Like they want to keep putting you on hold. They want to put you back on the shelf. We were doing a reading the other day where it was like, this person just wants to keep you on the shelf. They want to, they want to keep you there for, you know, this King of Swords wants to keep you there for when they're bored and lonely or when they're ready for you, when they've gone out with a bunch of other girls and eventually they want to come back and settle down with you. They want you to just always be there waiting for them. They didn't expect you to switch up like this and become the Empress. They didn't expect you to take your power back. So it's almost like they're trying to take you away from this King of Cups, but they're not trying to take you away to like be with them. They're trying to take you away from this King of Cups so they can go back to putting you on hold and just kind of have you there when, whenever they're ready for you, whether it's a, a, a week from now or a year from now. They, they want to take you away from this person and, and have you just keep waiting or have you have you on hold for them again. They want to it's like they want to drag you back into this cycle with them and you're not going to do it. You're not going to you're not going to be open. If it's the same shit with this person, you're not going to be open to it. I feel like you lose trust in this person more and more each day. So the audacity this person has to come forward and try to block this from you when you when they don't, they're not even trying to commit. They want commitment deep down, but they don't. You know, that doesn't mean that they're, they're necessarily, their inner child wants commitment with you. Their soul wants commitment with you. Their, their mind, their ego does not want commitment with you. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot of mixed energies we're feeling here. Tell me more about what they're going to, this tower moment they want to cause this two of swords. How do they plan on doing this? How do they plan on blocking you? Knight of wands, queen of wands. Six of Wands, Temperance, Five of Swords. For some, they just want revenge on you because they're angry and you need to be mindful of that. They might love you in their own toxic way, but you still need to be mindful. Because for some, I feel like they're going to try to get you back in the cycle with them. They're going to try to... um. Like, Knight of Wands can be, like, a fuck boy or fuck girl. Like, they, they come in very passionately, but they can be very hot and cold. They can leave just as quickly as they come in. So they might come in towards you, and they might try to put in your head that, you know, you have victory with them now. Everything's good. It's like they're going to try to play on your emotions, on your passion. I just feel like this person is, like, it's like they're angry or they're frustrated. They're upset. They know that they don't have you on hold anymore. You're not on that shelf anymore. You're not you're not being treated like old reliable anymore. You're you're not there for them to go fuck around with other girls and and come back and take you off the shelf when they're bored and lonely and they want an ego boost and they put you back on the shelf and they go get what they need from from this girl, from that girl, from that girl and then you're just one of many. You know what I mean? Like like you're not you're not you're not on that shelf anymore. They went and looked and they're like, "Oh shit, she's off the shelf. She's not she's not on hold. She's not waiting. She's she's living her life." And it's like an ego thing where they're like, no, you're, you're one of my toys. Get back on the shelf and you're not doing it. 
And again, they might love you in their own toxic way. Like I think, but again, I think their soul loves you. I think that their soul loves you. I think deep, deep down, they love you on a soul level. But, but again, on a conscious, on a conscious level, their ego is, is all about, you know, the games fucking around, uh, having their cake and eating it too. Um, getting what they want out of people, using people, just very selfish energy. So you might feel this person's soul, like you're channeling them, like their soul really wants to be with you, but that doesn't mean that their their ego and their conscious mind is on the same page with wanting that commitment, you know? So some of them might come in passionately. They might come in with a like a very passionate energy, to try to sweep you off your feet, make you feel like there's victory here. And then it's like they're going to try to find temperance is, is balance. And I usually, usually temperance is good. In this case, I don't feel like it's a good balance. I feel like it's, I feel like what it's telling me is they're going to come in hot and heavy, maybe even sexually, you know, just coming in very passionately. And then once they have you again, it's going to be back to the same rejection, the same power struggles, the same heartbreak. Uh, they're they're trying to get you back on the shelf. We we and we picked that up a while ago. This is just kind of an extension of that reading we did a couple weeks ago. It's that same energy where they're kind of going back and forth, and now they're they're getting more. The frustration's building up. So you need to be mindful of this. If this person comes in with all these false promises and and all this, well, you're going to see through it. You're going to know if they're really coming in in a genuine, I want to change, I want to be loyal, I want to be honest with you, or if they're just coming in um, to try to play on your emotions, to try to manipulate you again, and try to get you to go back to that old cycle with them. Yeah, they're they're stupid for this, because the Empress doesn't, doesn't play with, doesn't do this shit, you know. The Empress is the one and only choice. The Empress is the entire package. It's it's her or it's no one. You're not you're not gonna deal with whatever it might be. You're not you're not doing it. You're gonna see through this, I think. You're gonna see you're gonna see through this. Cause again, it they're doing it to themselves. They could come in in a genuine way. They could come in honestly, vulnerably, authentically. They could stop being so damn selfish and they could put you first or put, put the relationship first instead of always just thinking about themselves. They could think about your needs and your feelings as much as their own. You know, love is protecting someone's heart the same way that you would protect your own heart. And they do the opposite of that with you. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about how they're trying to get your attention. For some, it's through sex. For some, it's like they're going to try to work you up sexually. Ace of Wands, Judgment, Seven of Pentacles, Strength. Page of Wands. Four of Cups. It's like they want you to, they, they want to put it in your head that, that you should wait for them, that this is going to, that this plan is going to bear some fruit at some point, that there's, okay, for some, I'm actually getting, especially with the sexual thing, and I just, you know, the bear fruit thing that I just got, for some, you want a child, this is for like one or two people specifically, you want a child, and this person does not want a child, and you already know this. And this person is going to lead you on to try to get you back. And they're going to make you think they, they're going to make you think that they've changed their mind and they suddenly want a child and they don't. So that's for someone out there. You need to be mindful of that, that this person does not actually want a child. And you, yeah, you know this already, but they're going to, they're going to, they might come to you and just lie and be like, oh, well, I, I changed my mind. I'm, I'm, I'm more open to this now. No, mm -mm. it's bullshit. <laughs> They want you to be the strong one. They want you to, they want to use you as a crutch. They want you to have to be the strong one. They want you to have to do all the work. They don't want to have to do any of the work. They want you to, they want you to be daddy. They don't, they don't want to be daddy. They want you to be daddy, honestly. <laughs> hmm. 
pages can represent children. So it's almost like you're once they put it in your head that that then they that they want to have a child with you or they it, and, and that's only for a couple of you for others. It's something else where it's just like them putting it in your head that it, that they're changing or that um just coming in really passionately, but you know, it's not authentic. You can tell that it's just trying to get you back into the same cycle because they're going to do the same shit as before. They lost control of you basically. And they want, they want, to, they want control. They want you, they feel rejected and they, and it's their own insecurities that made them feel rejected. They're doing it to themselves, but they're blaming you. They're blaming you for, for them feeling rejected. And they're going to try to they're going to try to make you feel rejected. For some, I feel like they're actually going to try to make you jealous with another person. And it's going to backfire. Three of swords, three of wands, eight of pentacles. Hmm. It's like they're waiting for you to make they're 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 waiting and they're waiting because again it's like they don't want to be daddy they want you to be daddy they want you to be in control. This person might even be too submissive for you because you want someone that's more dominant. You don't you don't want to have to take control all the time. But this person's like getting frustrated because they're heartbroken and they're waiting and they're waiting and they're waiting and you're single you're living your best life you're having fun and you're guarded you don't trust them anymore you don't believe in them anymore. You might love them still. You might you might still love this person, but you don't trust them. You know now. You know about their games. If there's third parties, you know about it. You know, it's it's come out in the open. You you know no matter how you feel, you know you can't trust them. Especially if they're not doing anything. I think that's a part of it too. It's like their inaction makes you more of a queen of swords. It's like you become more of a queen of swords in a, a eight of pentacles even or is that? No, nine of pentacles on a daily basis because they're not doing anything. They, they, you know what I mean? Like you can tell because they're not saying anything. They're not doing anything. Or if they do say anything, it's like small talk. Like you can tell that their pride is still more important to them than you are. Their ego is still more important to them than you are. Their fear is still a priority in their life. You can tell that. You can tell because if they were really that genuine, they would be vulnerable. It might scare the shit out of them, but they would be vulnerable if they really, if it was that important to them. If they loved you that much, they would be vulnerable. You know what I mean? Like you can kind of feel that energy or like you might love me, but you don't love me more than you love your pride. You don't love me more than you love your image and your reputation. And that's not enough for an empress. She wants to be first. You know, she deserves to be first. Like their image is not more important than you. Their, their, their bullshit, their ego is not more important than your feelings. So you can tell that they're still afraid. You can tell that they're still acting on that fear by their, their lack of action. The chariot, four of wands, death. Nine of Cups. Eight of Cups. Hmm. Yeah, because it's like you're you're moving forward. You're tired of this shit with this person. It's the same old story again and again. Ego, pride, fear, sabotage. It's it's like you. You don't see them as a real man anymore, even. They haven't given you any reason to, though. Again, it's on them. They can't blame you for that. They haven't, they haven't stepped up. They haven't, they could, they could today, they could, today they could message you and they could be like, I've messed up. I am sorry. I want to be vulnerable with you. You are right. Like their pride will never allow them to say that though. And you know that. And you don't want anything less than that. You don't want, you know, because if they come forward and they're just trying to, if they're lying to you, if they're being deceptive, you're going to know. If they're still playing the same games, you can feel that energy. You can feel the energy behind their words. No matter what they're saying, you can tune in and feel that energy. And you you know they're just trying to 
you know that they're not trying to commit. You know that they're not trying to genuinely love you. You know that they're not genuinely choosing you. You know that they're just trying to loop you, like suck you back in so they can put you back on the shelf and have you there as their little play toy whenever they want to use you, whenever they want an ego boost and never actually give you anything in return, never actually commit in return to you. And you're not, you're not doing that with them. You know, you want a commitment. You want mutual love or nothing at all. Hmm. The lovers, seven of swords, seven of wands, oh, the hermit, yeah, because they're sneaky, they're sneaky. They know that they would have to choose. They know that they would have to, it's like juggling something. They know that they would have to choose you over third parties or over their pride, over their fear. They would have to actually really choose you and, and love you the way that you loved them. They would have to actually really commit. And they want to avoid that. They want to be sneaky. They want to stand their ground. It's like they're in hermit mode thinking about how do I... How do I avoid that? How do I avoid having to make a choice? How do I avoid having to commit? How do I get this person back and put them on the shelf again without having to be genuine, without having to be honest, without having to be vulnerable, without having to give them a real solid commitment, without having to really choose them? It's like they're standing their ground, but in a very toxic way. So you need to be mindful of this. Um... For some, I feel like they're going to try to make you jealous. I really feel like they're going to try to make you jealous. And might even do a separate reading on it at some point here soon. Because I just feel that energy too. Like they're trying to, they want to make you jealous. They want to, it's like they want to get back at you or they want to get your attention. But yeah, it's like they want to come forward, but not in an authentic way. And you're going to see through it. You're going to see through it that they're, and it's it's not, like if you haven't talked in a while, I don't think it's a bad thing for them to say, hey, how have you been? Like, it's okay. But I think that, again, you're going to know if they're genuinely trying to be vulnerable and commit or if they're just trying to to loop you back into the same bullshit as before. You're, you're going to, you're going to see through it. Whether it's small talk or a deep conversation, again, you're you're going to feel the energy behind it. And they're never going to get you back. As long as they're choosing their ego over you, they're never going to have you back. If they're the only way that they could have another chance with you is if they were honest and vulnerable and they really chose you over all this other bullshit, they would have to put, they would have to see you as the empress and really choose you finally. Like no other third parties, no other bullshit, no excuses, no games, none of that. Mm -mm, no. But yeah, they're trying to find loopholes still. And I know, I'm sorry, I know this, is this kind of repetitive for you guys? I'm sorry if this is like the same story pretty much. I know we've gotten like similar energy the past two weeks, but it's coming up again. It's like they're, they're thinking about it again or they're playing, they're plotting again. And that, that frustration has built, built up. Um, anyway, if this resonates, I really appreciate your comments, liking the video, sharing the video. If maybe someone, you know, needs to hear it subscribing I do these readings frequently so so maybe subscribe and and you know click the little bell notification and you'll you'll get my my updates when I do these readings and I do new love and other types of readings on here as well um I appreciate you guys thanks for watching